A C major chord is a triad. It is made up of three different notes, C, E, and G. Those notes are derived from the C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If we go higher, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's look at some alterations of the C major chord, considering the degrees of the C major scale. Here's the first one, C major, with the added fourth, making it a C suspended fourth. is always sounding on the bottom. Suspended fourth, baby finger, nothing else has to move, just the baby finger drops. It's called suspended because it wants to fall back to the three. You'll notice that I'm stopping my pick on the first string just so that I can stop at the root of the chord at the top. And it makes this voicing with the suspended fourth a little less confusing. If I were to continue all the way through to the E note, it would, uh, that E would likely clash with the suspended fourth, so I don't do that. If I lift my second finger, I now have the second degree of the scale, one, two. This chord is called a C, two. By itself, it sounds quite tense. But when put in context, It's a very pretty movement on the inside voice. If I continue up to the seventh degree of the scale, this gives me a C major seven chord. The notes of C, E, G, and B. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. C major seven. If I continue past the seven to the ninth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This now is a C add nine. You'll notice again that my pick is stopping at string two to emphasize the ninth. Let's take a look at those chords derived from the C major scale. C major, C sus four, C two, C major. In an inside moving voice context, moving up to the C major seven, moving up to the C add nine. Considering those two notes of C major 7 and C with the C add 9, or the 9 and the 7, 
in a moving upper line. Each of these ideas has to do with adding new color to a C major chord.